please welcome David McRae, David McRae. This was a speech featuring something sweet. And that was our speaker, Mel. Mel introduced us to a new practice that we possibly haven't heard of, and she sparked our curiosity right at the beginning. Have you tried still or moving meditation? Did you know there was such a thing as moving meditation? The Buddha kept that one quiet, didn't he? So immediately we want to find out more as the audience. Then Mel introduced us to her struggles with traditional forms of meditation. There was the repetition, I tried, I tried, I tried. And those in the audience who have indeed tried, 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 they've heard meditation is a good thing, but it hasn't really worked for them. They could resonate with that and go, okay, Mel understands my struggle and maybe she's got a solution for me. Where I think Mel really excelled was her use of visuals. Slides are always a risky business. Often it can turn into death by PowerPoint, but Mel had really good photography, really vivid colors that brought her speech to life. There was sparse text throughout. There is one slide I would change, the slide with uh, the boy getting the, the strawberries all over his face. I felt there was too much text on that slide. I would have split that into two. But I feel that was the exception that proved the rule. All the rest of the slides were fantastically designed and really added to the speech. I have a couple more suggestions for Mel. The first would be to do with her gestures. She had what I call the duck under the water gestures, where a lot of her gestures were going on underneath the screen. If you think of that little duck's legs underneath the water. And we as the audience can't benefit from what we can't see. And I feel there were some really great opportunities to add to the immersion of her storytelling. We could be picking the strawberries from the bush, perhaps even taking one to the mouth and oh, activating that sense of taste for us in the audience. My second suggestion is to do with her narrative arc. We got a little bit of a, a sense of Mel's struggles and a sense of her passion for meditation, but I didn't necessarily see what has meditation done for her that's a tangible result in her life? Similar for the friend, we heard about this horrible year that a friend has been having. I feel we kind of brushed through that very quickly. And this seems like a very nice distraction for the friend going and picking strawberries. But has she been able to take any of the principles that Mel shared with her to help her with some of these atrocious challenges that she's been facing? If we could get a more of that journey from struggle to solution, I feel that Mel will be able to sell this idea and sell this practice even better to inspire more people to do it. Overall, I thought Mel gave us an intriguing topic. She delivered it with a lot of passion, brought it to life with fantastic visuals, and she makes those little tweaks to the gestures, getting a clearer narrative arc is going to make this even juicier. Contest chair. <laughs>